a lot of that I think I can attribute to being an undersized heavyweight. Um, you know, because I mean, you 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 think about you think about a heavyweight bullying somebody around. What are they going to do? They're gonna they're gonna dig underhooks. They're gonna you know hard collar ties and that you know they're gonna they're gonna come at you upper body. And um, so a lot a lot of a lot of my style came from kind of having to deal with that constantly. And um, I was I was fortunate enough to have. Um, he actually wasn't on the coaching staff at the time. Um, Ashiro Oishi, who's like a judo, you know, back in the day, like the judo champ of, I don't know, the world, I would say like, he's, he's just, he's like this tiny Japanese man and he would just fuck everybody. He would come into the room sometimes and just fuck everybody up. Like he's just like, he's that guy, you know, and was just hardcore and, um, so I, you know, I trained twice a day back then, and then in the evenings I'd go, I'd go train with him. He'd say, "Hey, come into the to the judo club," and we would do. <laughs> my brother and I, we would do one move the entire time, <laughs> like that. And then, and then, like the next day, we do the that same move again, like over and over and over again. It was so, it was ridiculous, and we, you know, we we kind of, you know, we, we hit this move like a hundred times, maybe uh, back and forth. And then we just kind of stand there and be like, all right, I, do you think like, can we do, can we learn something else? You know, like, and it's just like, <laughs> I didn't tell you to stop. What's, what are you doing? You know, like he was so hardcore. Smacking with the bamboo stick. Oh, like, keep yeah, going. <laughs> oh yeah. You wrap his knuckles on your head and be like, get back to work. What's wrong with you? <laughs> but, um, but man, so, so that, with that, um, the inside inside trip has been that was that was the move that we did over and over again and that move has just i mean that's stuck with me throughout my career and and throughout mma i mean i've hit that i don't know how many times in fights you know just like it's funny because because when you said when you when you were talking about one technique in judo over and over i was thinking to myself i bet you it's that inside trip because yeah Yeah. that's that's, that's awesome that's really cool that's where you picked it up man Uh, did did he eventually show you other stuff too or did did you did you start to expand more of your base in judo no just that one move hey man why 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 mess with success man why yeah yeah there's there's a hundred different ways to get into it and we got to master all those that's awesome all right that's so cool i love it man Uh, let me ask you this you you mentioned that uh one of the things you dealt with in your career was that you were you felt you were an undersized heavyweight so um strategically how did that affect the way that you took your game and approached matches was there any any particular um goals that you were trying to reach knowing that the other guy might be a little a little uh heavier than you and be feeling underweight yeah i mean i i would i would say you know i i used a lot of um I don't know. I would call it like like a like a chess, you know, a my chess game, and um, I'd I'd like to let them think that they're wearing me down or that oh uh, you know I'm in a weak position here. Don't you know? Don't don't dig that underhook extra hard, yeah. you know, because I'm I'm about you know like I'm getting pushed out of bounds or whatever. I'd, I'd play it up, you know, for sure because. It, I mean, what what can I do? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna butt heads with these monsters. You know, these guys are 285, and I'm just like, you know, I'm. I mean, I, I will say I did I gained quite a few pounds over you know over my college career. I think my biggest I was like 265 at my very biggest, but I was like maxed out, and my my ass was gigantic. You know what I mean? Like I was just like this beefcake. <laughs> Um, but still, I mean, even, even with that, I was still, there's guys bigger than me pushing me around and I'm just like, ugh, cause they're, you know, they're cutting weight. They're, they're in the off season. They're like 300 plus. Yeah. And it's like, I am not that guy. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Like I'm not, I'm holding my pee in so I can be a little extra. Heavy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, I gotta admit, so, it's it's so funny. It, like, cause, dude, I mean, you look you look like you should be on the cover of Catch Wrestling magazine. So, so it's it's, it's funny <laughs> hearing your strategy of like, oh no, don't hurt me, bro, and then ah, you know, I, yeah, I, 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 lo- I love that. It's hilarious, but it's such a smart yeah. way to do it, man. Yes, yeah, so, so you really so you'd kind of feign you'd feign your true abilities just a little bit. Um, yeah, that's cool. That, that's that's smart, man. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, it, I mean, obviously, it differed. Differed, you know, my my approach differed with every everybody I faced, but. Um, and then, you know, if it, t- just depending, you know, I, I, I worked a lot on different finishes, you know, I, I 
for example, I'd hit a high crotch and, you know, on a big dude, that's not the best, you know, that that's not a great shot to hit on a big monster of a guy, you know? And like, yeah, you can cut the corner and kind of, you know, get an angle on him. But I mean, even still that's, that's difficult. So I had, I, I remember just shooting that high crotch and then just like, basically turning that into a sweep single kind of, you know, like just finishing, finishing low on the ankle and just, just getting out out of the way of that big dude falling on me, you know? And I, I I just, I didn't want any of that. 